All right, and we're back now with uh, running in real time. So this is no longer being fast forwarded. You're seeing the uh, image here. I'm in control of it right now in Photoshop. Uh, so here's a line work, but it's gonna be like one of those cooking shows where I'm gonna fast forward now and uh, show you guys what this end result is because the purpose of this tutorial is to show you guys how to draw a very complex drawing in Photoshop, right? The rendering part, you can refer to the other videos as far as how to do them, but I'll turn on all the layers. You can sort of see um, the process it took. So here is the, um, the mask layer, which I create often for these drawings. Again, this is going to be uh, one of those presentations where the line drawing is kept within the image itself. Uh, and then let's go to the next one. Drop a really quick uh, shadow on there so this guy doesn't flow off the page. Gradient wash, light wash. You can see here we're starting to just get into the uh, painting. Here's some texture references. You can see it's slowing the Photoshop down quite a bit. This image is actually very, very large. It's, uh, I think, about 5,000 high or something like that. Uh, for line drawing, you have to keep it that high in order for the details to read. Otherwise, all these kind of nice details we did in here, such as the pilot, and uh, these kind of things would not read well if we made it too low of a resolution. Some highlight layers. So I'm just going to keep turning these layers on and off, you can see. Here's a glass layer. This is to separate the glass out. Therefore, we could make gradients on top like this. Turn this on and off. This is some shadow layer. You can see on and off. And then we start painting some details like highlights, scratches, those type of little things. A dirt pass. So you can see if I zoom down here on the bottom, it's going to be quite slow now. So again, I'm recording this on a laptop, so uh, it's a little bit slower. At this resolution with so many layers, I have about. Uh, uh, looks like about 15 layers here and uh, typically I don't keep all these layers uh, act active when I'm doing professional work and just doing this for um, for the YouTube videos uh, so again here's the uh, dirt splashes you can see here let's go back up so these are just some are painted with Photoshop brushes other are actually a um, little bit of texture work additional details more highlights highlights this is actually a physical texture layer. You can see I'm turning this on right now. This is um, being done using photographs, which you see I've done uh, many times in the previous videos. You can see here on and off, you can see what it does. So we added some just scratches and dirt and all those sort of type of things. And uh, a few more layers to go. This is a quick fog layer. You can see what I did here. Even though I'm keeping the line drawing uh, on the page, I'm not getting rid of the line. It's a little bit too busy in terms of making certain things read. For example, in this design, this little vehicle has the arms, the legs, and this kind of pot area here in the front. But the line weight, because of the line alone, you know, let me shut off the line drawing here for a second here. So without the line drawing, it looks like this. If I could find the line drawing, here we go. Right. It's starting to become a painting, and if we're going to paint this, we're going to have to separate out the values. So the stuff that are in the back, like his back leg, the back section here, should go away. But because we're keeping a line drawing, no matter how we separate that out, the line drawing is always going to flatten the drawing out, simply because the, the line weight of the black and the black here are the same value. They're both black. So what I usually do in cases like this is to add a little bit of volumetric fog over the line work. You can see here, on and off, how that affects the value of the light. I mean the line work, right? So he pushes the arms and these kind of elements into the front, creating a sense of 3D. Here's a little bit for the back section there. So push that away. Quick level balance, color balance to get into the kind of green Africa uh, Land Rover feel. I do a complete color wash over the whole thing just to uh, bring everything to the same uh, hue of colors. Last minute details. Level adjust again. This is my level adjuster for printing. Right. I generally do a quick check print uh, when I get to this stage to see uh, if it prints out too dark or too light. And this layer here is just to uh, brighten it up a little bit for the printer. Because in most cases, printers tend to print dark, even if it looks nice on your screen. Uh, but it'll come out super dark. It's because uh, our screens are backlit, right? So everything looks much brighter. Uh, but you actually go to a printer, obviously a paper is not backlit, so it turns to look dark. So before I go to print, I generally um, up the level to make it look just a little bit lighter. And here's I put in some logos. Let me zoom in so you can see. So here's a Land Rover logo you can see here, which is uh, fitting for this design, and which is our inspiration. And also the um, logo from some sponsors, right? This kind of is just made up, you know, who knows if these sponsors actually sponsor something like this, but it just gives that level of belief. 
yeah, that we're trying to uh, sell this to the user. You can see that now it looks like an explorer vehicle that you can send out to some distant planet uh, with a bunch of scientists uh, or something like that on board, right? This is not a military vehicle, although it could be converted to military. So, But uh, generally, I want to avoid doing things like guns. And then from here, uh, actually, let me close this file. So I'm not going to save that. I moved it to a new file. Here's the finished image, by the way. But let me turn all these things off for a second. What I did is I copy and pasted it onto this file. This is from the previous image. And all the layers have been flattened at this point. So this way the image is nice and quick. You can see I can zoom in and out much faster than the other one because uh, the layer control is getting out of uh, too slow for, for a laptop on the previous image. Uh, so here we just continue on adding some last minute details before we call it done. Right, I really brighten up the uh, uh, levels here to make things read. Painting in some uh, cockpit to indicate these guys, give them some glow. So the headlights now glow blue. These guys in here, you can see that they have a little cockpit where these guys sit. You can see them pretty well. All right, there's a guy back here. Because these are part of our design elements, and we don't want to lose those designs uh, simply because we didn't give enough value to them. Because right? if I turn this off, you can see we can actually lose them quite easily, uh, where the viewer could not notice that there's a little guy sitting inside. Right? And that's not good. We spent all that time designing that out. We want to show that off uh, to, the, uh, to your clients so they understand how this thing works. Because right? the idea here is that you have a pilot or the uh, control guy here. This guy keeps an eye out for this arm. This guy maybe could operate the arm, but also keep an eye on the back section, right? So, and then the, this is a little door here where you could go inside, just like an airplane. This thing could be attached to some kind of ramp. Uh, and then back here, you can imagine there's probably a cabin or something where you can sit a bunch of people. Right. More details, just little highlights here and there. Little shadow pass between uh, certain geometries. When geometries come together, they tend to go darker uh, whenever they intersect. Uh, just a little color splash to make this guy more interesting, make it more entertainment based. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a little bit dull, a little bit military. So I just want to add a little bit of color striping. Uh, and then add some notes. Obviously, uh, write your name, put the date, so you know when you did it. Right. So here's the uh, date name. Um, as far and as well as a little bit of note, notes. Right? Notes on this image is quite light. Just put eight crew, six passengers, the Land Rover T Rex. And uh, I put a little logo on the front as well, just mainly Photoshop T Rex. And the last part here is a little imaginary logo that I made. You can see here, I copy and pasted the Land Rover logo, and I designed my own little T Rex logo on the bottom just to kind of give it a fun little thing. So if you are doing this for entertainment and you're basing it off a of, uh, Land Rover in the future, uh, why not? This kind of adds to the overall belief uh, of the entire image. And that's it. And then all, uh, just like the paintings, I have the black and white saturation layer on top just to check to see if the lighting actually looks good, even in black and white. So let me turn that layer off. So yeah, so here's the final drawing. So this is a example of a, just a concept piece that could be done fairly quick in a studio environment where because the reason why it's quick is because we're keeping the line drawing around. If we have to paint this guy and get rid of all line, it'll take a much longer time, maybe um, at least triple the amount of time I think it takes to finish line drawing. Uh, but this method works quite well. It's uh, The reason for that is because it's fast. So in a production day, you could probably do um, at least maybe three, four, some, something like that uh, in a day uh, if you concentrate. So it's a good pra uh, practice that we use in the industry all the time. And if that gets approved, then we could of course bring this into a production painting or uh, get rid of all the line and paint it as a uh, much nicer presentation. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the new 2011 year, and uh, I'll see you guys possibly next week. But uh, I'm starting on a very big project uh, starting next week uh, for a pretty big client as well, so a lot of work uh, load, but I'll try to get these design cinema done in any case, So, but we'll see. But hopefully I can keep it up uh, as I continue on the new project, so we'll see, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, next week. All right, here's a last look at the image, and uh, all right, bye-bye, guys.